So we're London Institute of Advanced Neutron and Electro Science, and we have a mission to um, establish a centre at uh, between Max Four and ESS for for X-ray and neutron uh, based uh, science, and doing this by attracting uh, uh, outstanding scientists uh, in in different subject areas to to the the uh, environment around Max Four and ESS. Um, and also to promote uh, the science and education of uh, research using X-rays and, and, and neutrons. And this, uh, this is a part of what I'll talk about most of, uh, now. And a major part of this is creating these international uh, networks. So, so linking the international community to the, the Swedish and uh, community and the community around Max4 ESS. Um, the community, uh, just quickly, uh, is um, you know, starting out from, from Lund University, but with core partners of Max4 and ESS. Uh, but we have uh, fellows affiliated to many institutes around the world, and we collaborate with a number of national and international initiatives, and we're expanding uh, um, this uh, community. So just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, so advanced studying is, 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 is um, a way of working that brings researchers together uh, outside the normal working place and hopefully outside the normal working community so they can interact with people from different environments to come up with new ideas or to, to educate people in, in methods that they use in their research that can be applied in different areas. Uh, you know, one example of uh, the sort of advanced study is the, uh, the, the famous Solvay conference uh, involving people like Albert Einstein where they uh, spent a week uh, locked away discussing stuff and coming up with great new ideas. A uh, more modern example would be Carvely Institute in Santa Barbara, which has a um, uh, similar aim to, to, to links. Um, but most importantly, what do we mean? So what we're trying to do with Advanced, uh, Advanced Studies Institute at Links is to, to develop new interdisciplinary uh, uh, connections. We want to bring together theoreticians, modelers, and um, experimentalists. And this those questions but, uh, in this, these collaborations. But we also want to advance and widen the science around X-rays and neutrons. So bringing in new groups and, and bringing them forward, like connecting them with uh, existing researchers. And we want, so we want to advance the overall community and bring in new communities. And so how do we do this? So we, we organize larger sort of symposia and, uh, and, and meetings um, in the usual sort of scientific uh, way, but uh, we also organize a technique specific workshops and, and, um, to educate the community uh, and hackathons where we bring people together to, 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 to develop the community and educate in a more hands-on way and, and, and a more interactive way. And then we also involve with doctoral schools and for obvious reasons now we're developing quite ex extensively our online uh, presence and our online activities. Um, so I'll give you a few, a few examples of these more um, education-based aspects of technique-specific workshops and hackathons in the online. So one example of a uh, technique-specific workshop, we've given a good example, which we cite often is this X-ray fluorescence workshop, where we, we focused on a particular technique that brought people in from different um, backgrounds, and we went through how the technique, uh, um, the theory of the technique, but also went into detail of sample preparation and the measurement protocols, but also how you could how to apply for time uh, at beam lights. Uh, so this, if you're interested in this type of thing, then we can, we can develop more technique specific workshops uh, to educate the community, but also to bring together uh, the community around the technique. In terms of hackathons, a good example we've had has been the image analysis hackathons, where we get people together for two to three days with some experts and then people with data that they want to um, have analyzed. Uh, and then we get together and we work together, we inter interact to come up with new solutions or um, to, to, to analyze the data. But the hackathon can also be on preparing experiments or preparing data analysis or software. Uh, and the idea is we develop new cl collaborations but also new, new connections um, uh, uh, between uh, different, different areas. Um, Doctoral schools, we've been involved in, in a number of these. The most recent was the Northern Lights on Food Masterclass, which is a good example for now because this is actually, um, this is actually all online, or well, mostly online, we have some people present. Um, and so you can look up, look up this on the website and find the details. And with these, we, we can have a, either technique-focused or scientific-focused uh, events. 
we generally cover the background theory, but we include a lot of practical examples. And generally, we also discuss the possibilities of the facilities and how people can access into these, how they write proposals, for example. Um, and then, so, and then we try to publish the results and these, like the, the talks and things, on online, so people can to, people can look at these at a later date, and we have a, uh, an online presence for these. And then, in recent times, uh, not just because of uh, COVID, but also to access a wider community, uh, we've developed a webinar series, so to give people more people the opportunity to get involved without having to physically come to links, and and this is actually aimed at. Um, early stage researchers, mostly, uh, and to, to provide the fundamental background to the techniques, but also guidance on how to, to, how to perform experiments, and how to prepare for experiments. Um, and so these have been a big success and we, we would like the community to propose more topics. We can adapt these to the community. So this is something I think fits into this discussion now. Um, for example, how to write beam plan applications, but also if you're specific technique, then we can we can focus on that and have a webinar on that. And so we have uh, a plan for the autumn. We have some before the summer. Most of those are online, and we have a plan for the autumn for a um, number of new uh, webinars, um, including um, one which more towards Excel, but includes be my proposal writing, for example. Um, and we're trying to develop the educational material online so we have uh, a more um, long-term trace of all of this so we, we we're storing the as much as we can the information from the courses and the doctoral schools and the recorded webinars uh, plus some links to external uh, courses so this is a the educational link at uh, links uh, for example the ones listed below not all things are recorded it depends on the uh, the community and the people presenting um, so, most of our, our activities and educational activities as well are framed within the themes. So, um, if you look at these, then you can see the, uh, the imaging dynamics and structural biology plus the new materials for the new theme. Um, so, you can contact the leaders of these themes to, to get involved in the existing activity. But if you have a suggestion to what you'd like, then please contact us um, to to develop new activities and um, uh, so we can fit the demands of the community.